The cycling test helps you keep track of your cycling performance and to define your individual power zones. The cycling test measures the highest power, weight per kilogram, you can maintain for over 60 minutes. It is also known as the Functional Threshold Power, FTP test, which measures your power in watts. You can take a shorter test that lasts for 20, 30, or 40 minutes, in which case we'll estimate the 60-minute result. We recommend using an indoor bike with a power sensor, but you can take the test outdoors as well. Nonetheless, a power sensor is required in both ways. When you're ready to start the actual test, tap the Start button. Speed up and find the maximum power you believe you can keep up for the whole test. Pausing or stopping during the test cancels it. The test view shows your power in watts. The red value tells your current power and the white value your estimated target power. Try to keep your pace close to the target. In the first test, we'll guide you with a power target that's based on your background information. When you repeat the test, the target is based on your earlier results. The test phase ends after the predefined time is over. Your test result is shown right after you finish the test. The test summary shows your FTP value, which shows your power in watts, your maximum heart rate, and your maximal oxygen uptake, known as VO2 max. To get a more detailed and illustrated analysis of the test, sync your V2 with Polar Flow. In Polar Flow, you can also update your power zones and VO2 max's values to your cycling sports profiles, according to the test results.